Alright, what is up guys? Loser Manic here, and today, welcome to a different video. I didn't think I'd have to make this, um, or I didn't think I would make this, but thank you for a hundred views. Um, <clears throat> it may not seem like much, but, um, there's, there's a reason I say that, and it's because, um, when I first made this channel, it was like back in, back whenever I was in middle school, I am now since graduated from high school, um, and I wouldn't really upload a whole lot of videos, um, and, so, and so there would be occasional times when my friend at the time, um, he would be, he would say, dude, you made this channel, why aren't you using it? And it's like, well, because I don't feel comfortable with talking just to myself in front of other people. I'm fine, I'm comfortable with thinking out loud. Because I have a right to explain myself, but if someone's like, who are you talking to? I'm like, oh, I'm making a YouTube video. That just seems, it just seems weird, you know? Um, so to those who have been watching my channel, thank you so much for the support. Um, I don't need, I don't need it. But the problem with that is, is it comes with the fact that I don't like when I do something and progress isn't made. I am, even though I work for it, progress just isn't being made because I feel like what's, what am I doing? What, what's the point of me doing something like that if nothing changes, you know? So to see a hundred views on this channel really means that I'm doing something remotely right. Um, so there are a few people I did want to shout out, uh, mostly two. One is... A channel named Mr. Pee Pee Poo Poo Face, which is an amazing name, by the way. Um, he talked about the f he he watched my Horizon Zero Dawn first first thoughts, um, and um, sorry about that. Um, and he was very supportive of of my channel. He said that I made a great video, and he recommended me Red Dead Redemption Two. I have thought about playing the first one, or I have thought about playing this one since I played the first one. The problem with that is it. From what I heard, it takes like, it's like a behemoth, it takes a behemoth amount of space at like 99 gigabytes. And that is absurd because I am also running low on space and I could delete games like I mentioned before, but I'm too invested into those. I've spent my t hard work and whatnot. I do have a d game downloaded that I would, that I will uninstall once I get the Platinum Trophy, which is the Modern Warfare to campaign remastered that I have currently so once I get the platinum trophy I will delete that but I don't think that would t that would free up enough space for Red Dead Redemption 2 so to you Mr. Face I'll call you that because that's a long name and I don't want to say it again um thank you for recommending me Red Dead Redemption 2 um but in the near future I may play it may review it but not at the current moment um, second is Elixin Elixin. Um, I don't know how it's pronounced. I thought it was like Erickson Erickson, but then I saw the L. I was like, okay, so that's not it. Um, this one was important to me, um, for the sole purpose of the fact that I kind of cling on to what people say. Um, that's why I'm negative towards myself and why I have this channel, Losing Manix, because I believe that that is what's, um... So I've been told I'm a loser all my life that I decided to just give in, deal with it, that's it. But this is a different case. Um, I mean, I mean, The Last of Us, I, I've played The Last of Us, uh, The Last of Us Part 2, I don't know where I was going there. Um, and I talked about how I really love the game. But at the time, it was like the most hated game of all time. Um, he did link me videos, but I didn't watch it because I have this feeling where I just um if someone were to um if I like something people constantly harassed it I just feel uncomfortable watching it um uh, kind of why I had a hard time watching mini lad videos whenever that shit went down that he was a pedophile or whatnot because I really enjoyed mini lad and I didn't want to watch that video because otherwise I would feel like I'm being shamed for liking mini lad this was definitely the case um and this comic came from the reason that um 
I made the Let's Talk Episode 2 Things I Hate Slash Can't Stand was because in there I mentioned iFunny. Uh, and how um, whenever The Last of Us Part 2 came out, people thought it would be a great idea to um, not only talk shit about the game, which is totally fine, but shit on people who enjoyed the game. Um, I've had that happen to me multiple times where I've seen people be like, if you enjoy this game, you are a piece of shit person. Um, so I guess I'm a piece of shit person now, but um, Mr. Ellickson, um, I say Mr. because it's close to Erickson and I, I'm more familiar with saying Mr. since the last one said Mr. And I'm, <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, but Mr. Ellickson talked about how um, he didn't agree with my opinion that it's a good game. He, um, <laughs> But he was very supportive of the fact that um, just because he doesn't like the game doesn't mean um, I should, um, that I should hate the game. He's He was fully supportive of my opinion and to you sir, I. I appreciate that comment. Um, if I could, I would definitely screenshot that and make it my wallpaper, but that's that just seems a bit much for a comment, so I, I won't. Um, and he told me that um, if someone disagrees with my opinion, that they can go fuck themselves. So that is what <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say from now on. If you agree, if you disagree with my opinion, that's fine. But if you hate me for my opinion, go fuck yourself. So there we go. Um, now as for comments, I kind of move away from the comments and kind of talk about, um, what, um, what, where this channel is sort of going now. Because if you recall, I said I would be doing, I would be ending gaming reviews, and that is true. Um, but that does open new opportunities for gaming or gameplays. Um, so, now I understand that no one wants gameplays but the thing is is I didn't make this channel to be a review channel um I th I th it, it gave me something to do in the meantime um such as reviewing Fallout New Vegas Fallout 4 I won't be reviewing Fallout 3 just cause that game is like I said I'm a massive pussy and my lurks appear a lot more in Fallout 3 than Lake Lurks do do in Fallout New Vegas and since Lake Lurks derived from the Maya Lurks in Fallout 3, Fallout 4 is perfectly fine because they look like adorable little pets but this one just seems like something a child, if you told a kid to ride a crab without knowing what the hell it is, what a crab is, that would basically be, a Maya Lurk would be just that, they're terrifying so I won't be able to finish it. Um, but this does, uh, but like I mentioned before, this does open opportunities for new stuff, such as gameplays and whatnot. Um, if you look at like my early stuff, um, I do have a video. Believe it or not, I have a video from like six, I think six years ago, where me and my friend just made a video on Modern Warfare Three with like the shittiest camera quality ever, like worse than this. Like I guarantee you, I could, I could film the TV. Um, right now, and it would be much better than that video. It was so bad. Granted, I'm filming on a Galaxy S10. I think this one was a, I think the video I recorded on was an Aquos Crystal, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's like a really weird phone. It, like the front facing cam, it had a front facing camera, but it was at the bottom, like, like if you're holding it like this, it'd be like down here. It's really fucking weird. So I recorded on that, but I've since upgraded to um, an Android. Well, I guess it wasn't an Android, but this is a Galaxy. And I can tell you, the quality is much better. Um, if you guys want me to re-upload that, or unpri it's private right now. It's like the only private video I have. So if you guys want me to private that video, um, let me know. I will be really embarrassed to do so, because you can tell... Um, just how much I've grown because of my god-awful voice that's not as bad as it is now. 
or that's um, worse than now because it's because I was I was like a teenager still in middle school or maybe no I was it was in high school I've hit puberty by then but really within like the early like maybe sixth or seventh grade me but yeah so yeah gameplays is gonna be a thing um yeah if you guys remember I did COD Mobile for a change I did have I think one episode of PUBG I'm gonna be doing PUBG but um I want to get back into gaming kind of in the way that this uh channel was for um <laughs> so that is sort of where this channel is going to be heading from now on. If that's something you don't want, I'm sorry. That's what I wanted. Um, I didn't expect reviews to be taking off more than it did. But once it did, I was like, okay, maybe after a while, it just got to a point where I was like, I would I would review the games I had um, or games I really enjoyed, like, like I said, New Vegas, Fallout 4, Last of Us Part 2, The Last of Us, and then Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, but from there, it just it just feels like, okay, review Black Ops 2, um, review Portal 2. Like, games have been out, like, a bit longer than um, New Vegas, even though Black Ops 2 came out in, like, 2012, and I don't know when Portal 2 came out. So something like, it just, it just seems like... Why would I make a review on something that's been reviewed already multiple times by a shit ton of people when Horizon Zero Dawn, while it is a fairly new game, it was recently coming out on PC, so I felt the need to just restart it again since uh, a YouTuber I was watching was live streaming it since it was out on PC. Um, and that kind of influenced me to watch or to replay the game again. And I felt the need to review it since it was recently out on PC. But now that I have nothing else to review, and like I said before, my space is low, so I won't be able to do Red Dead Redemption 2 until maybe I get um, Platinum on Modern Warfare 2, which will take a while. Um, I need something new to do. So this is where gameplays come in. I did say Fallout builds. Um, of like character builds, but it wasn't until like midway through my my first character that I realized it was most of I have all these ideas, but most of it is stuff that Fudge Muppet made, so that's definitely won't be happening. Or if, or if it will, or if it is, it's I'll try and add a bit of twist from Fudge Muppet builds to make it different. Like um, one of the, one of the characters I'm doing is a stealth melee character, but then I realized halfway through that it's just gonna be much more bit stalker build but um this one does have a, add a bit of a twist to it because the armor is going was gonna it's gonna be different and certain endings gonna play out differently the backstory is different but other than that it's like perks wise it's basically just uh the stalker build by fudge Muppet, but just in different uh areas so like you would get like critical banker if they, if you get critical banker uh, by level forty three, this one would be like level twenty seven, um, which isn't the case because I went through all the twenties and it's not there. But I'm just saying, like at that point, it's just it would start to get repetitive, and then it, it would just be like, huh, first month we did this, did that. So I'll, if that's something you guys want, let me know. If not, fine. I will upload the first one though. See if that's just to see if that'd be something you guys don't. Just to see if that'd be something you guys want. If not, fine. Um, as for reviews, I have thought about doing like a TV movie um, music review. Mostly music, even though I'm not like Anthony Fantano. Because music is a huge part of my life. Even even now, as soon as we're done here, I'm going to sit back, play some Modern Warfare. Uh, maybe, maybe record it or whatnot. Um... Maybe not, um, and just listen to music because that is what I do. Um, in fact, I have a guitar right now that I haven't played since I moved in here. Um, but um, with that, that is what the direction of the channel is going to be going. Um, and it kind of gives me something a bit different because I've been peeping on my um, friend's uh, YouTube channel and he has 
more shit than I do. And I'm, I'm very competitive. So I'm just like, I want to be better than him. Because that is how awful I am. That's how terrible of a person I am. I want to be better than him to rub it in his face. Because it's sort of as like a friendly competition. And then it's just went from, you know, you're not taking this seriously. So let's just not have the competition. And then now that we're no longer friends. So we start talking to each other. I'm like, I want to destroy him so bad. Um, but that would be an insane mark that... Um, <laughs> Is all based on luck. I swear. Um, but if not, that was my intention in the first place. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for a hundred views. Um, can't wait to see what happens at two hundred. Probably I'll be twenty-seven by then. Um, maybe thirty. I don't know. <laughs> because, like I said, progress. I do all this hard work. Progress is never made. Uh, even though it's all based on luck, I sound ungrateful. That's not the case. Um. So yeah, thank you guys. Let's just cut that out. Thank you guys for 100 views. Um, see you at another 100, maybe. I'll still be here, um, hopefully. Um, and, and hopefully I constantly pump out more videos because I'm going to need to get a job soon. Um, it's going to happen eventually, um, which I'm fine with. But then I won't be able to uh, pull out as many or make as many videos as I do. Um, if you do subscribe, hit the bell notification because I don't have a schedule. I don't know when I upload. So if you want to know when I upload, um, then hit the bell. Um, or don't. If you just want to subscribe to support me, that's also fine. Um, uh, make sure to share with friends. Um, maybe, maybe, they <laughs> maybe they need someone new and they can come here. Or maybe you just want to show them how pathetic I am. Because that's a part of this channel. To make me look like a loser. That's that's, that's something I forgot to mention. Um, the reason it's called Loser Manic is because um, every subscriber, uh, it's a work in progress, is going to be called a loser. Because from what I read, Manic is like a spreadable disease. So by subscribing, you have caught the case of the losers. Um, it's not a, an insult to people, just like in how people call their fans fuckers, um, faggots or whatever. If someone does that, that's terrible. But um, by calling this channel Loser Manic, it means it's a loser. Loser is like a spreadable disease. And that means if you subscribe, you have caught the case of the losers. Now, it's not deadly or anything. It just shows that I appreciate you guys. In essence, um, I'm just, I keep digging myself a hole and I try to find a way to climb out. But then I just keep digging it deeper. Um... So yeah, um, well who knows, maybe I can help enlighten someone today or whatnot, I doubt. Uh, <laughs> but if that's the case, then welcome to my channel. Um, and also leave a comment if, um, if there's any, I, I do mobile games, I plan on it. Um, but mostly COD Mobile, but if there's something you want to see from this channel, um, let me know. Um, I'll, I'll try and do it if it's possible. Like I said, I don't have a job, which means I don't have money. So some of the stuff will be very, very limited. But who knows, maybe within the limit hit, limitations, there's something I can do. Um, so yeah, with that being said, Loser Manic out.